Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Hitchin. Uh, many of you might know me from Bruce's 928. Well, I now have a 944 in addition to the 928. This is my 1990 uh, 944 Cabrio. It's really a gorgeous car. Um, this one is in original condition. This is the original paint. It's got the linen interior, which is quite a nice combination. Oftentimes you'll find these cars and they have the black interior. And I was really looking for one with a linen or uh, almost a bone colored interior. Uh, the color combination is fantastic. You can see that this car is in remarkable shape just by the way it shines. Um, couple small little blemishes, couple little dings, but overall it's fantastic. I've been doing a little work on it, um, mostly cleaning, but I have replaced the stereo. Uh, like most of Porsches of this vintage, the stereos are usually an aftermarket stereo because the blop punks always crap out. But uh, I found this beautiful uh, Continental stereo, which actually fits the interior of this car really well. It's modern technology, has Bluetooth, um, has USB uh, phone connectivity and all of that kind of stuff, but it looks right in this car. It looks like the proper vintage. This car came with the upgraded stereo system, which means it has the Blockpong graphic equalizer, which is kind of cool, and uh, it's got more speakers. Um, I think if it was a, a coupe, it would have 10 speakers, but since this is the Cabrio, for some reason it had eight speakers. So what I'm gonna show you is how to repair the speakers in this car. I have taken the um, speaker panels off and found that the woofers have been replaced, they're new. The tweeters, I believe they've been replaced. Um, but the mid-range speakers are the original mid-range and uh, it also has the original crossover network. I can tell that the um, mid-range speakers are the same because they've got the Porsche part number on them. Um, but the foam gasket around the outside, the, the ring around the outside of the speaker has disintegrated. It's, it's deteriorated over time. So I have um, ordered uh, the replacement foam gasket and I'm gonna show you how to, rep how to repair it. First of all, let's take a look at where the speakers are located. So this is the door panel of the 944, and as I mentioned, it's got the upgraded stereo. The speakers are down here. There's a woofer here, a mid-range speaker here. This is the tweeter, and if I pull this off, you will see a little tweeter in here. I think that's being replaced. I'm not entirely sure. If anyone out there knows if that is the original tweeter, uh, maybe make a comment on my page and let me know. Um, I have taken the time to take this apart. And this is the uh, cover. I have cleaned the carpet and I've spray painted, I've just masked this off and spray painted it. Also back here, because of the age, these are all broken. So I've just put a bit of epoxy glue on this to sort of refurbish this piece. But what I wanted to show you was this uh, portion right here. And you can see here that this foam gasket that goes around the outside has disintegrated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, I'm just going to take these screws out and I'll pull these off. Hang on to those. I'm going to undo this one. And then what I'll do is I'll pull this out. And these little connectors here just come undone. Now, like I say, this is where that foam gasket has disintegrated and fallen apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece off and uh, I'm going to replace this. Okay, so I've got the speakers out of the car. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this uh, spacer out and we're going to remove the rest of the foam gasket and we're going to replace it. This is what I received from company called speakerworks.com and uh, there is some glue that comes in the package along with a little like a little foam brush and uh, also in here oh it's in here is the replacement foam gasket so that fits right in there I I've already done this one because I wanted to do it before I recorded this and make sure I got the technique down. Um, so you can see that this one is, um, is being completed and looks really good. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do here. 
first of all, this is like a cardboard um, spacer, I guess. You'll see them on a lot of speakers. And we're going to try and remove that. And I'm just going to grab a little screwdriver here. Because it is uh, cardboard, I'm going to just go around here and it's glued on. So all I have to do is give it a little bit of flex and it's going to loosen the glue here. I could take a knife, um, one of these box cutter style knives, and slice this underneath. In fact, that's probably the best way to do it. And you'll feel that the glue is kind of gummy. Okay. And there's the piece that's come off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to clean up some of this, take some of this material off. I have a little screwdriver that I'm using as a little bit of a scraper. You just end up with stuff like that. It's just going to come off. There's glue on here, and it's a bit gummy. It's kind of like rubber cement, only it's black. So it's pretty gross. Um, I have a little bit of paint thinner. Some of you might cringe at that, which I've put a little bit into this cup. And uh, I am just dipping some Q-tips into that to clean the rest of this off. Now, I can put more on the edge than I would on the actual speaker because the speaker is a paper cone, so we don't want it to get saturated. But I found that this glue, it's kind of like rubber cement. So if you just rub it, it just kind of rolls off, and then you'll get 90% of it off. In the instructions, it tells you some of these foam rings, depending on your speaker size, you have to trim them down and so forth. This fits absolutely perfectly. Um, and this is a three inch size, so that's what I got. And so um, it works really good. Now the instructions tell you to glue the center part, let it set, and then the glue out the outside part. Which means you have, one, if this is glued, then you have to lift up the outside to get the glue under. And I thought because this fits so well and there's no problem with centering, I'm just gonna do them both at the same time. This is the glue that comes with it comes with glue, like that, comes with a couple of these little, like they're like foam paint brushes. I use this one on the first speaker, I'm going to use this one on the second speaker. This, it's kind of like Elmer's glue, a white or white carpenter's glue. Um, they say it's toxic and don't, you know, don't ingest it, but I've sniffed it and it doesn't seem toxic to me. Um, so here we go. We're going to put a little bit of this glue right around the edge here. Just a little bead all the way around. And then I'm going to do this part as well. So now that we got that on, we're going to set it down and we're just going to let it tack up. Now it comes time to doing this foam gasket. So we're gonna flip it over. I'm just gonna grab a clean towel, shop towel, put it down here. So we've taken this, put it face down. We're going to put the glue around here. I'm going to do that one first so that I can hold the edges while I spread this. I'm going to try and keep it just on the part where it attaches to the speaker and not too far down onto the foam. I don't want that to harden up. Okay, now that's done. I'm going to do the outside edge. Okay, so now we've got glue on the speaker, glue on the new foam gasket. And we just have to let that set up. We want it to be a little bit tacky when we attach the two pieces together. It's not really like contact cement where it needs to be dry, but a little bit tacky. Okay, so I've uh, given it a few minutes for this glue to set up. And I'm going to put this ring on here. I'm just going to take this. 
very gently and I'm going to let it sit down here like this. Okay, so I've given these speakers time to dry. Both of them are done now. You can see that the foam gaskets, rings are around and the glue is all dried up. So we're going to reinstall this in the car. It's really simple. Just like when we took it out, we're going to pull these wires out, reconnect them. One, two, put this back in here. Here we go. Okay, so I've reinstalled that speaker. Now I'm gonna put my refurbished grill back on. This is the one where I cleaned up the carpet and uh, I spray painted this. It just goes back on like this. Fits into a couple of slots here. And these again are the screws that I took out and just spray painted them. Well, here it is, it's all done. Stereo's back installed, speakers are in the door and uh, sounds fantastic. I'll just give you a little test drive here. the end of my little segment on replacing the foam gaskets on your speakers. I hope it's been helpful. Let me know and uh, thank you for watching.